y'all what is going on i wanted to come out to the creek today and film a creek fishing lure review so euro tackle has some really cool lures one of the ones that i've been wanting to try out is the z viper i have the one eighth ounce and the reason i got it was they make this really cool match the hatch color that looks exactly like a sunfish so that came in the mail. I've been wanting to try it out for a while. The plan for today is I got my car with me. I'm gonna hit one spot, maybe two today. And then on another day, I'm gonna hit up a third. So I'm gonna go to three spots. That'll give me a good feel for how the lure works. And at the end, I'll give you my recommendation or lack thereof a recommendation. And I'll tell you the pros and cons of the lure. What I like about it, um, where you might have some challenges and I'll let you know if I think you should add to your tackle box. Enjoy. All right. Looks like a good time to be fishing. This weather is beautiful. Let's see if we got fish that want to bite. This far we had a rock that surely wanted to bite. Oh guys, we were getting lots of bites when I was doing that. I changed my approach a little bit. I wasn't getting any bites and I changed my approach to like a... Guys, you would not believe how much I changed an approach that got these bass active. Here we go. <laughs> that feels pretty good. Oh no, man. No, no. These smallmouth love to take out under this rock. Where am I? Come on, buddy. Nope. I gotta be really careful that I don't snap. Shucks! Just a repeat of last time. <laughs> All right, y'all, there's another good smallie, though. Oh, come here, bud. Oh, shucks. There we go. It's a good smallmouth. Yeah, that's a nice size smallie. All right, bud. Let's see, it's pretty dark out, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get you guys a good look at him. Oh, there's a little bit of sun. It's a good size fish. Dude, I completely changed the way that I fished this thing. So I wasn't getting many bites. And then rather than Try to get this buddy unhooked here. Give him a second. All right, y'all, we desperately need ply guys.
got our friend here unhooked. Give you all one quick look at him. Nice size small mouth. And let's let it go. So I can't believe that I forgot pliers. So if y'all see saw what I did there, I used the hook just to get some leverage to get the hook out. If you ever forget pliers, that's just something you can do. Um, but I can't believe I forgot them. I never forget pliers. Uh, I, I usually keep them in my bag, but I recently cleaned out my bag and just forgot to throw them back in there. So rookie mistake on my part. The other thing that I wanted to show y'all was when I was just reeling this Z-Viber in like normal, nothing was happening. But when I was kind of letting it bounce on the ground, and then doing like quick drags after, that's when we drummed up that bite. Drummed up, is that a word? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I just made up a word. But I am gonna go check my car and see if we've got any pliers in there. Some good news, some bad news. The bad news is I'm an idiot. I forgot these in my car. The good news is they're in my car so we can keep fishing. One of the things that I'm figuring out about this lure, because I fished it I don't know maybe 10 minutes in total so i'm happy with what we've caught thus far but i will say this if you're looking for a top water lure um or a a lure that can go in about i don't know a foot of water or less it hasn't been the best option for that there's a bass over there um but i think if you get to the two foot of water plus this is an awesome awesome lure from what i've seen thus far we'll see how it continues to perform Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, he hit that right on the drop. So I wouldn't expect to catch sunfish with this lure, but we did. Um, I mean, sunfish will hit a lot of different lures, so actually it doesn't completely surprise me. But I would just say if I was going for sunfish, they make a lure called the Starts with an A, I'll put the name up here. Um, but that's a much better lure for sunfish. But this one did the trick. So any of the soft baits actually that, that your attack will make work really good for panfish. But as you can see, you know, sometimes you get some surprise catches or catches that you weren't intending for. Let's see how he uh, how he match. I mean, you can tell they're different kinds of sunfish, but they do look extremely similar. Look how close those patterns are. All right, that was cool. I'm actually glad we caught him, so we could compare how my lure looks to that fish. <laughs> cannibal, cannibal. Nothing. There are some big smallmouth in here, and we catch the one largemouth bass. That is extremely small. <laughs> so the lures caught a little bit of everything. That's a good sign. We just don't have many um, largemouth in this here creek. So catching him is about is as good as you can expect to get. I mean, we got some some medium sizers further down creek, but at this spot, yeah, this is pretty much what you'll get here. Pretty much dominated by the small jaws here. Got him. See you later, bud. Okay, do you see this? There's a lot of smallmouth in there, actually. We still have it on. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, there are some big smallmouth in there, 
and this is indeed a smallmouth. He is not one of the big ones though. That's all right. Let's get our little buddy unhooked here. Yeah, I was hoping to catch one of his older brothers or sisters or moms and dads. Yep, it's a little bit on the small side for this crick, but this is not a uh, very big crick. You know, these, these deeper holes are few and far between, so we don't get too many big smallmouth in here. Um, that one I caught, you know, five being the average size of smallmouth in here, he's probably like a four or three, to put it in perspective. I will say, we've had some luck here. And what I'm finding with this lure is it does really well when there's uh, about a foot of water or more. Um, anything less, and especially with it being fall, it, it drags along the bottom, it picks up some leaves and stuff. And because it has this Z type of pattern where it's cutting all the time, the, the deeper the water, the more of those cuts you get. And that seems to be what the fish like. There we go. <laughs> you know, that's a nice large amount. Where's, where's my, my phonesy? Let me go throw this on the bank. Oh. Get you, bud. <clears throat> it's a pretty nice largemouth. I'm in pretty deep water here, though, so. Please hold. Come on. No more shakes as I'm getting this out, please. Pretty smooth release. That's uh for this crick, y'all. We don't like I said. Um, you know, so for this crick, we don't have many large mouth. So that's actually a pretty nice sized one. There you go. Yeah, I'm content with that. It's a nice little fish. Oh, thought that was going to be my phone. All right, bud. See you later. Here's the deal. It's college football season, so I'm going to turn in a little early today. I have enough time to go to another spot. I've hit two out of three of the spots that I want to go to. Like I said, I got my car with me so I can drive around a little bit. Um, and three spots I feel like gives me a good feel for how the lure works and should give y'all a good feel for how it works. But... The Temple Owls are playing against Duke, hoping Temple wins. I'm gonna go watch it. I'm gonna pick this video up on another day. All right, part three of our video. I am at a very heavily pressured bridge. We're gonna go underneath it and uh, see how we do. Let's do this thing. Water's a bit chilly. All right, y'all, I've been fishing for like 15 minutes and I looked at my lure and I realized one of the hooks broke. So I really like Eurotackle's hard baits. This is the lipless crank. And I've also used their crankbait and I love the detail on them. I caught my PB smallmouth with the crankbait. And this one's performed pretty well, but it's hooks broke and this is the second lure of euro tackle that has done that to me so i love euro tackles lures i think they catch fish but i i don't know what to tell y'all for durability i mean it's hooks broke and i reached out to them the first time um and just said hey like the hook broke is there anything y'all can do and they didn't do anything for me so i doubt they'll do anything here but from a durability standpoint uh i hate to say it but it's unacceptable i can't believe that broke and I feel like I haven't really slammed them against anything. Like I haven't really hit any rocks. I may have hit a rock once or twice, but nothing that should make the hooks fall off. So 
um yeah i don't know what to tell y'all so i fished at three different spots probably for two hours and 15 minutes and an hour at each spot and then 15 minutes here because it's broken now i'm sort of bummed that it it broke so do i recommend it it's expensive i mean it's not cheap lords like i want to say it's you know it's it's under 10 but it's above five would i recommend this lure i'm on the fence uh, if the if the hooks didn't break, I definitely would recommend it. If you don't mind the hooks breaking, definitely recommend it. It's a cool little lure to add to your tackle box. Um, your tackle makes a, a bunch of hard baits that have really cool designs and are, look really realistic. Love them for that. But this hook issue is definitely a problem. Um, it's definitely a problem. So when I started this channel and I, I, I told you I'd give y'all honest feedback, I'll probably buy another one but if that if the hooks break on that one as well i don't know that i'd be getting this lure again so i'm on the fence and that's why i put these videos out y'all can decide whether you want it or not thanks for watching y'all all right it uh finally happened i've finally been recognized holding true on my deal here is your lure thank you but what's funny is he just told me that he's bought like two or three of them after i recommended it so that is <laughs> incredible to me <laughs> but uh let's go running into you cool thanks man you got it thanks buddy